Previously on Magma. She's stunned. Kill her. <sighs> While you have the chance. No! I'm not gonna kill her! It's wrong! I'm not a murderer! You're a machine! You hate humans because you don't know what it's like to be one. But I do! Wonderful. All we need is another human. So tell me, human, what are you going to do now? Kill you. Attention, Attention all, all personnel. personnel. Round launch, launch in, in two, two minutes. minutes. Whoa, this thing is totally filled with explosives. There's no way I can get all of these out of here in time. Attention, all personnel. Drop in one minute. Soft landing? That sounds like a good idea to me. Attention, all personnel. Drive launch. In 30 seconds. Whoa, I gotta get out of here. Ooh, disarm. That should take care of the TNT. Attention, all personnel. Drive launch. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two. Uh, oh, morning, guys. Morning, peeps. What the? Good morning, guys. Where's Ben? Ben. Hey, Bernard's gone too. Little Where'd he go? Mary. Little little daddy, I, I never thought I'd be so sad to not hear their little quacking voices. Whoa, Mary. Where'd Mary go? It's alright. I'm good. I'm good. Wait, is is Ben with you? Where is he? No. Guys. Wait. Dad, Splice said we had to go to the monolith this morning. That's right. Um alright, let's go check the barn first. Okay. Boy, these teleporters are handy. What? Wait. Yeah, the horse the, is gone. What the heck? Little, no, that's just some random chicken. Wait a minute. <gasps> the dogs are gone. What? Everything. Guys, if we're not careful, we may be next. You know what? You're right, Mary. Let's head to the monolith. We don't have much time. Uh, I guess we'll have to go by foot. Come this way, guys. What do you think's going on, Dave? I don't know, Sass. I guess when Splice said to be ready, he meant it. Oh, there's the monolith. Come on, guys. I think it's time to sprint. Out of my way, Cal. 
Dad, I didn't know you could sprint. Oh, yeah. I've gotten quite good at it. Okay, there's the monolith. No sign of splice. Guys, are you with me? It's all right. One second. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Slow down, Sass Dave. has turned into a softy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. Dave, that's rather rude. Oh, sorry, Sass. Okay. All right, now. Wait, I think I hear something. It's the dogs! I can hear them! What? Hold on. <gasps> Bernard! He, what? He's here! Bernard? And, oh, it's... It's little Marion. What the? What the? Little Daddy. Is Ben here? I don't see him. The horses? Oh, nice armor. Hello. Oh, and in the dogs! Maybe they're trying to say goodbye. What? Do you really think so? I don't know, but... But what about Ben? Hey guys, you didn't think I'd let you go without a proper goodbye, did you? Ben! 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 I know you can't leave the simulator because you're not real and all, and I know you'll have the animals to keep you company, but it just seems unfair that you're the one that has to stay and be alone here. Forever. Actually, I'm gonna have some help around here. Norris showed up while I was mining, right before I made my way back to the portal room. Norris? Yes, the garbage collector. Yes, it's me. When I started watching you from a distance, and planted that beacon to help monitor your activities, I realized something was different about Ben. He had come from a mysterious place, what I later found to be Mary's dream about the gym. Once I defeated the Wither with his help, I realized there were still more questions about him and about you three and where you came from. Since then, I've learned a lot, but what surprised me most is what I've learned about myself. I thought this was the real world. It was all I knew. But I realize now I'm just a custodian here. A cop, I guess you could say, policing all the memory being allocated and released each day. Wow, a real live garbage collector. Yes, that's not all. Wait. Weary here is like Ben, another case of abnormal memory allocation, but she proved herself just like Ben did, and so she deserves another chance to live, just like him. Sure, they aren't supposed to be here, but their past doesn't matter, only what they do with their future. Weary, I'm sorry about that whole fight to the death thing. No problem, dude, it's all good. Hello, everyone. I hope you're ready. The portal is locked on to your positions. I should be able to transport you in a few seconds. Splice, don't we need to go through a doorway or, like, press a button? No. I have the ability to lock on to any memory object within the simulator now, regardless of location or movement, thanks to some last-minute help from Norris. Nice. Don't go anywhere. I'm initiating the transfer now. Bye, guys! Bye, Bye Ben! Bye, Ben! Take care! And Dave, I hope you don't mind, but I'm gonna need some help around here. So I've decided to deputize Burrito. I'm sure he'll make a great police dog. Wow, a police dog. I know you can do it, Burrito. You're the best. Well, bye guys, take care. So it appears that our story has come to an end. Or should I say, another story has just begun. The old saying is true. When one door closes, another opens. What happened to our heroes, you ask? Well, Sasquatch did eventually return to a family, and Mary and Dad did find their way back to Ben in the real world. But things along the way didn't quite turn out like you might expect. But don't take my word for it. See for yourself. Whoa! Guys? Mary? Are you okay? Uh, yeah. What's going on? I don't know. I thought we were going home, but this looks like another island, and there's a giant spider. Whoa, guys, creeper. <gasps> hey, wait, what's in the chest? Mayor, grab the chest contents. All of it? Sass! Dad, all of it? Yeah, get it. Sass. Wait, there's a book. Uh, wait. Sasquatch. Yeah, read the book. Wait a minute, Sass can't talk. 
Oh, watch out, Mayor! Back up! Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Ah! Uh. Kill it! Uh, I have a sword. What? You have a sword? Well, get it over here! Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, thanks, Mayor. Wait, Mayor, your cape! It's back! It is? Can you... Oh, you, are, you probably can't see it. Yeah. Okay. It says, Sasquatch, you'll need this book and quill until Dave makes you a communicator. That's it. Oh, Sass. Slice. That's from Splice. Wait, Sass, could you jump really high? That, is that as high as you can jump? Wait, Mary, give the book to Sass. Sass, are you okay? Mary, I don't want to go anywhere till we make sure Sass is okay. Okay. Um, Mary, what else, what other equipment did you find in the chest? Um, I have some, uh, chest plates and leggings and swords. Oh. I'll give you one of each. Oh, you've, oh, wonderful. Awesome. Thanks, Mayor. Yeah. Hold on, Sass gave me the book. Give some to Sass. Hey, Sass, Sass. Here. Knock yourself out. Wait, oh, why uh, isn't it Sasquatch talking? I don't know. Hold on. Probably... Oh, Sasquatch is weak, and the reason she can't talk, Mary, if if Splice did what he said he did, is we're back in the real world, but what's up with these creepers? Here, oh wait, we both have swords. I got it. Yeah. Shoot. Okay, guys, let's make, let's make our way toward this island. Okay. <sighs> Mary, I thought we were going home. Yeah, I know, and now it's like we're at freaking... It's going in a circle. Hold on. Let's go in a straight line for a minute. Sass, other than being weak and not being able to talk, are you okay? Oh. <laughs> don't, don't drown, Sass. Sass must have gained a few pounds while she was in the simulator. Dad! <laughs> just sorry. because she's an animal doesn't mean that she isn't okay, sensitive right. at heart. Okay, we, won't, we don't want to say anything unkind. I think I may have gained a few. Now, Mary, I'm not sure how we're going to tell if this is the real world or not. I mean, I see the sun. I see some natural squid wildlife. Trees. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Ah! Okay. All right, well, we should probably start by making a base camp of some sort. But I don't want to do it on this beach, and I don't want to do it over here on these... These trees are going to be too uh, too much of a rat's nest. It's already afternoon. Um, Mayor, what are your thoughts? Uh, I say go as far as we can, make a shelter. Okay, okay. And party. Okay, well, go as far as we can, make a shelter, party. Correct. All right. Oh, wait, is this the... Is that all there is to this island? Wait a minute. Whoa. Hold on, guys. Wait! Another creeper. Whoa! Zombie! Guys, let's keep moving. Don't fight. Let's go. Wait. Another creeper. There's a cave, but... Oh, my God. You okay? Yeah, we're all... Well, I am. I don't... Sasquatch can't talk. Hold on. Oh, how are we gonna... Shoot. Okay, she's behind me. Okay, there's ocean to our right. Wait a minute, Mary. Ocean. <laughs> Smell that? Yeah. It's the ocean. And Mary. we were just in the ocean. No. What I'm saying is is that none of the simulator world smelled like the real ocean. That smells like salt water. Mary, this... Oh my gosh, you're right. Hold on. There's some sheep. Oh my god! What? Oh. <gasps> uh. Mary, we're... We're home! Oh my god! What? Wait a minute. That means... This is too emotional. Oh my god. It's it's the mothership. It's, yeah. From, I don't know, it feels like years ago. Oh my god. Then there's a shaft in the... Yeah, the shaft. Oh, Mary. We could go find the shaft, but you know what else? We, we can... We could find a pressed cactus. <gasps> Where's a pressed cactus? Hold on. This is a Gravcom. Splice, can you hear me? Yes, Dave. Loud and clear. 
Splice, why the Gravcom? Why not just teleport us to your lab? It's a bit of a journey to the mothership from here, and I'm afraid it's not quite safe here right now. A bit of a radiation issue. Sass says she's weak. What can we do? She's weak from being in the sim. Don't worry, Dave. She'll grow stronger over time. Splice, what about the capes? The creepers? The spiders? Those aren't real. Yes, Dave. They're leftovers from some of the previous experiments we performed. But the illusionary walls are gone. You will be able to see the real world around you and hopefully find a way off the island. But I'm afraid that, for now, you must be careful. The creepers, the spiders, the zombies, they're very deadly. And they could kill you. And remember, Dave, you've been in the sim for less than a week. It probably seems like several weeks or perhaps even longer to you. So be careful and welcome back. Woo! Oh my gosh! Wait, how can we be sure? Mary, you're right. There's only one way to be absolutely sure we're home. Let's go find a press cactus. Come on, guys. It should be right around the corner. Right around here. <gasps> oh, my God! Oh, my gosh! <laughs> and Mary, the cobblestone you put there. <laughs> oh, look. He's still a little chibi. I was, like, three years old. Oh, it feels like it. Mary, now, like Splice said, it may feel like we've been gone for weeks or years, but we've only been gone for a few days. I know that's hard to believe. Wow, check that out, guys. Mary, I'll tell you what, it's getting dark. Wow, look at all the animal life. Now, guys, the one thing we do need to be worried about is what Splice mentioned in terms of radiation. Um, we, we can't see Splice until he fixes that. Uh, so we'll, we, we'll, just, we'll just stay here and we can talk to him safely through the communicator. Oh, whatever you do, Mary, don't take down the Gravcom, okay? It's made of loosely packed gravel. I know it's not the greatest idea in the world, but... Oh, I, I can't believe it, guys. Why We're... don't you tell Sass to be careful? Because I have a feeling Sass will be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Sass, is there something you need to tell us? It's like she's saying, turn around, you dummy. Oh! Oh, Mary, this is... I remember this. I, I've fought tons of monsters down here. All by myself. <laughs> all by myself. Oh, and we, you had the zombie dance party, remember? Yeah. Oh, and look, it's... It's Creeper Hill. <gasps> I wonder if it's still... Up is there Chuck Forrest, too? Um... Bald Hill, Chuck Forrest. Mary, it's all here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And look at the wildlife. It's nuts. Now, wait a minute, Mary. Remember Dragon Mountain? Mm, yes. Well, according to Splice, maybe that's one of the things... Well, maybe that's one of the things Splice mentioned. Some of the illusionary things beyond beyond the walls, they, they, they weren't real. But some of them manifest in the real world, like our capes. So, I think, from what it looks like, Mary, we got a lot of ocean around us. Yeah. We need to figure out a way to get off this island. I know. Sass, what about... Sass? Sass is down there. Oh, <laughs> hold on. Wait. Oh my god, it's a monster party down here. Hey, let's get in the house, man. What are we doing out here? We got a party. Hold it, hold it. Where's Sass? Sass is still... Sass! Okay, oh, well... Oh, she's coming. Okay. Okay, good. Let's go in here. Oh my god. Mary, it's... Everything's just like we left it. Well, what could have happened to it? <laughs> well, I don't know. Somebody could have moved in. They could have used it for bombing practice. Well, what the heck? Hold on. Bombing practice? Well, I don't know. We're out in the middle of the Philippine Sea. Hey, get out of here, guys. I'm trying to get this thing out. Hold on. I'm trying to get this thing off. Mary, this was the panic room, remember? Yeah. Stop blocking me! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I don't know why it won't... Wow, Mary, you you did quite the job back here. We could store panic for weeks here. Just, <laughs> just kidding.
God, I was more of a hard worker. Yeah, you you were a yeah. Uh, I don't know. Oh, Sass, your garden is looking good. Oh, I mean Mary's garden. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little help from uh, you know. Wait, guys, careful. Come on, let's go to bed. I really want to collect all this. Yeah, Sass is going to go to town. Oh, that's right. Sass can't eat any more digitized meat. Guys, we don't have time for this. It's zombies over here. <laughs> Guys, get in the house. Hurry. Get out of the way, pig. In the house, fast. <laughs> Sass. Get Close the door. Clo no! Code six. Oh. oh, my God. Can we go to sleep? Hurry, hurry. Can we Everybody. at least get food? Get, go to sleep. Hold on. I'm making myself some bread. Come on! Go to sleep! Hey, look, iron. Mary! Hold your horses! <sighs> oh, and these guys are like... Wait, do we have food? Come to think of it, I am a little hungry. Wait. Five raw pork chops? That's it? <laughs> are you kidding me? Sass, do you have any food? Oh, thanks. Okay, I'm ready for bed. Alright, let's do this. Oh, man. Good night, my fellow children. Alright, good night. What the heck? Oh my god, what's going on? Sass! That must be the Gravcom, hold on. Splice! Hurry, there's a rocket inbound. I think it's going to land in the proximity of the mothership area. To the south. Whoa! <laughs> what happened? I thought that was Splice for a second. Hold on, sorry Splice, we had a flying pig. Guys, let's go. A rocket? Wait, what's going on? I don't know, but... Wait. Dad, I think I might have seen it this way. Which way? This way. Where I'm headed? Yeah. Yeah, Splice said to the south. Hopefully it doesn't land on a pressed cactus. Guys, are you with me? What the heck? I don't... Oh, guys! It didn't... It didn't detonate. It looks like it... Oh my gosh! Looks like a needle that, that like doctors use. Dad, what is that? Mary, that's not really a rocket. It's a... It's a drone. A drone? Well, actually, it's a hybrid drone, Mary. It's a... It's a Model 2112. It... it you could fly it like a rocket. You could fly it like an airplane. Or you could fly it remotely. But... Wait a minute. Mary, stand back. It's gonna be hot. I'll leave. Just hold it. Hold it. Get it. It's not that hot, Mary. Ouch. Okay. Wait, wait, guys. I'm very familiar with this design. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Guys! Whoa! Let's take this stuff down. <laughs> guys, I smell fuel. We can use this ship to get out of here. Oh. Self destructive. Five, what the? Four, Mary! Three, get out of here! Two, go, go! One. Uh...